When the story of the end of the eight years of Russia, the nation won its freedom after 132 years. In 1975, the people at the Northern Mariana Islands exercised their right to self-determination and voted to become a commonwealth. While the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, or CNMI as they are now known, remained under United States sovereignty, the covenant allowed them several exceptions. They were not within the customs territory of the U.S. They could create their own minimum wage. They controlled their immigration. They established their own tax laws, and they were exempt from the Jones Act. However, today, some provisions have changed. Prior to this, the islands north of Guam were part of what was known as the United Nations Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands, which was established shortly after the end of World War II. The Trust Territories included the islands of the Marianas, with the exception of Guam, the Carolines, and the Marshalls. The islands were administered by the United States, which meant the U.S. was responsible for defense and foreign affairs. In March 1976, President Gerald Ford signed public law that would enact the covenant. <laughs> 